Hey gang, Nicole here. A really great way to personalize your e-learning courses is to let learners choose an avatar that represents them in a scenario or throughout the course. Let me show you an example of what I mean in this storyline demo that I created. On this slide here, I choose if I want the male or female avatar. In this case, I'll choose the female. Later, that character represents me throughout the scenario. And if I retry the scenario and choose the male avatar, you'll see that I see his character instead. So this type of functionality is really easy to build in Storyline, and let me show you how it's done in a few quick steps. So I've already built out a few basic slides with some text, and on this first slide, I want the learner to choose their avatar for the scenario. So I'll go ahead and pop in an illustrated female character, and I'm going to crop her to make her the size that I want. The next thing I'll do is copy and paste this female character, and I will swap out the female character for a male character, and this will create my second avatar. And finally, I'm going to create a select button and place it right in the middle below my two avatars. Now, I also want my character to show up later in the course, so I'll just go ahead and copy her onto one of these content slides. And while I'm here, I'm also going to create a new state on my female character. I'm going to go ahead and call the state male, and I'm going to change the character to the male avatar. So the idea is that I will toggle between the states depending on which avatar the learner selects on the first slide. So now I'm going to jump back to the first slide, and the next thing I do is create a button set with the two characters. So when you put items in a button set, it means that only one of them can be selected at a time. And that's exactly what we want because I want the learners to only be able to choose either the male or the female avatar, not both. So once an item has been put into a button set, you'll notice that the selected state is automatically created for it. So in this case, uh, it's a blue glow and I will leave that as it is. My next step is to create the variable that controls which avatar is visible throughout the course. So I will create a new variable called character and I am going to make it a number variable with the default value of zero. We're almost there, just a few more steps. The next thing I'll do is add my triggers to the select button. So I'll add a first trigger that adjusts the character variable and makes it equal to one if the female avatar is selected when the button is clicked. The next thing I'll do is I'll copy and paste this trigger and I'll simply update the value to be two and the character to be the male avatar instead. So when the select button is clicked, the variable will be adjusted to either one or two depending on which avatar is selected. Now I'll quickly jump into my slide properties and I'm going to remove the next and previous button from this slide and then I'm going to add a trigger to my select button that will make clicking this button jump to the next slide. The last thing we need to do is add triggers on the content slide that will display the appropriate avatar. So I'll go ahead and create a slide trigger and this trigger will change the state of our character to the normal state, which is the female, if the character variable is equal to one. The next thing I'll do is copy and paste this trigger and I'll update the state to the male state and I'll change the variable to when it's equal to two. So now, if the character variable is equal to 1, the female avatar will be displayed, and if the character variable is equal to 2, the male avatar will be displayed. The last thing I'm going to do is set the default or initial state of my character to hidden. And now I'm going to preview to have a look and make sure that everything is working properly. And there you have it. That's one way that you can easily use a single variable, states, and triggers to control a learner's avatar in a storyline course. Thanks for watching.